Do they open the friendlies yet? Well, I mean, they finished top 48, so I think the rest of it is being played on like pool one. So like two, three, and four have just been people do doing things. Uh, yeah, yeah. They said, all right, all right. Oh, man, because usually I come here for commentary, but now I'm kind of like, ah. Uh, I, I drive like 30 miles out here, and I don't play Smash with anyone. That seems like not mm. the thing to do. Wait, where do you live at? Uh, San Fernando Valley. Oh, so like man. the other side of LA. Uh, no, I know where I know where it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get to LA, cross that, <laughs> shit, and then exit it, and then you're where I live. Kind yeah. Of I, I know what area you're talking about. Yeah. But when he's getting into game one, we got Nico and Kierflex. Kierflex going the rob. Definitely one of his tried and true characters. That and the hit slash dark pit. But yeah, I think we're gonna be seeing the rob whole set. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it had to do with uh, the last match that he played against Ruble, but um, the counter pick worked. Mm -hmm. It was a close match, but um, he didn't go back to pit or dark pit. So we'll see how he uh, plays the rest of his match. Ooh, that was nice. Oh wow! Nico actually died. That backer was so good. It restricted so much space for uh, Nico, where if he jumped, he would have died. So we just kind of forced that SD. There's just something about like Kiriflex's um, way of playing Rob. I'm sure he shows it with, with Pit, but maybe I haven't noticed it, but it's kind of un unorthodox, but it's so practical. Like you don't see uh, the reason behind the move sometimes, but hey, I didn't know that Nico was going to die like that. Yeah. Alright, tries to LP out of shield. Kierflex, not the best punish, but he still got the grab, so that's good. Right now, it's looking like Nico is struggling to get this first stock. Yeah, and even that back here uh, at the ledge could have uh, sniped out like an early uh, An early jump, yeah. And it's, like, it's funny, for a character that, you know, pops over the ledge so often, I'm surprised I don't see more counterplay against it. Yeah. Really? There is like that mix up of like Nico. He's usually pretty good at uh, getting into snap, or he'll like like to go high and like poke up. So yeah. it is just like Shulk Bane's like being good at realizing that their recovery isn't is exploitable and doing the best they can to do something about it. Yeah. They got the mix up for the mix up. Ooh, oh, gra just yeah. grabbed him out of the air. Yeah, I just want to say I, um, I didn't get to mention it earlier, but some really good. Um, Shield Monado is coming out from, mm -hmm. from Nico that really saved the stock. And as long as you get the stock, like, I mean, 147 doesn't really mean much until it, it, like, it takes away the stock. That's true. There should be a big punish. I guess that fourth throw into the dash tag. I like that Kiraflex is going high and that Nico's, like, not trying too hard wow. to punish it. Yeah, you know, that was, like, instant, huh? Yeah, he. He saw him get spun. No, no, none of that. <laughs> do, you, do you just like mash it? No, you just kind of. No, in this game you just hold it and then you go towards a certain direction until you're free from it. Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. And yeah, SDI still in this game, right? Like just minimal SDI exists in this game. Yeah, I think it's minimal. I would have hated if that went away. <laughs> All that bail play and then I don't get the SDI. Why did I learn this? I mean, with the rise of like the Shoto's here, that SDI is coming oh, back. Yeah. People are like, no, I want to get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I saw this clip from Nito about how Charlie SDI's all his mm -hmm. hits. And I was like, whoa, I got to start SDI like that. Exactly. Teleported this man. Speaking of teleport, Nico has uh, slowly brought this back and actually taken a lead. Yeah. You Yo, these fairs. Yeah, actually just hit him with the wall of fairs. Nico going to go up there, try to challenge it. But... Nico stalls really good. That up here kill. Yeah. Wow. That was a great trade and great awareness from Nico. Going to take that, bring that back. He played on the back foot, the back foot that whole time. It's so funny because like that was like almost somewhat like a comical way for that to be the last stock. Like just mm -hmm. Rob just lo floats down and then like Nico's just waiting. All right. And then he just up aired him. Yeah. It was climactic, but it was just funny to me. <laughs> yeah. Really, really interesting, like, um, kind of just dynamic between these two. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is winner's quarters. Okay, interesting, uh, interesting rotor arms at the beginning of the match. I think we're going to punish that a little bit. Yeah, that's a really, um, I don't know if they improved it much from last game, but... It's no, it's way better than it was in the last yeah. game. 
Yeah, because it has the same properties, but it just has better hitboxes. Yeah, better hitboxes, and it, it kills a lot. It, it kills. I don't... You never really saw it used in Smash 4, but now it's... Now you gotta wait for it. Yeah, I mean... Like, it was, it was like PK Flash. Yeah, I see what you mean. Seeing kind of like a reversal of the last game. Yeah, Nico's definitely taking uh, the front foot here, is looking really dominant. And the fact that he's taking away the top from uh, from Kira Flax. Yeah, and just keeps throwing it up in the air. Yeah, that's so good because it stays in the air just for so long. It's not Kira Flax doesn't have that way to kind of chip out damage. Oh, there we go. It's back. You know, it's, all, it's always one of those like um, like double-edged swords, you know, messing with someone's projectiles, because then you could fall into their gameplay of like mm -hmm. trying to counterplay projectile. Right, this battle for the first stock is still going off. Yeah. Your flash is a uh, hundred and fifty, but he could still uh, he could still get this with a good up smash. Wow, I think he was trying to like uh, bait that good jump, but still gets it. Mm -hmm. From that first stock. A B, boys. This going to be the stock. Nope, switching into the shield R. Don't even think about it. Now what, now what you hear if Flack needs to do is like, now that shield R is down, this is when you want to go for it. Go see up tilt again. Yeah, it's going to be it. He took away Nico's uh, jump, too. So that we, he was just kind of a sitting duck. Is that true? What? Like the, that combo? I think... I think up tilt up air is true at like earlier. Uh, it is true at earlier percents, but at later percents it's kind of like that 50 50, so you have to guess. Yeah. It just surprised me that it ended up connecting. I would have thought that he could do something. An air dodge. So. Yeah, I'm surprised Nico didn't air dodge, but like I said, I guess it was just that 50 50. Yeah. But right now, Nico is going in on Kira Flax. Yeah. He's not letting him breathe. He's like, this is for the last stock. No, he has to take away his jump with that up air. That was shady, but I like it. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Yeah, it's just like a really interesting way that he's like milking everything about Rob, like his, his recovery. Yeah, I like that he's stalling in the air too. Yeah, because some like at some point like the person that you're doing that to is gonna have to commit to a direction, and if you could just stall enough to like have that kind of a um, Oh, I got two directions on you. Mm -hmm. And our Kierflax could take this first stop, or this game. Wow. Oh, man. Jumps into the back air. It was so scary. That was good tech. And Kierflax dies wow. for it. That was Dragon Ball Z in like two seconds. All right, Nico does have a chance to bring this back. And honestly, you shouldn't sleep on him. He is number one in our region for a reason. He is able to just bring it back in situations like this. Yeah. Kierflax, he has a lot to prove, but you know, like, uh, the results are really what, what speak the most volume here. And Nico's not one to buckle under the pressure. Yeah, look at this, he's, or what's his name? Kierflax is already at 76. Oh, wow. He's getting, uh, like, floated right down in his face and just said, yo, here, eat this propeller oil. I like that uh, at that high percent, he ended up going for the up throw combo just because he knew shield art was happening. But now this is scary. He's at 190. He can't really get grabbed. This, oh my god. Scary. Right now, Kierflex does have the dryer on the ground to kind of restrict some space that Nico has. But now that it's gone, and he's even kind of like tempting, like, oh, you know you want to pick it up. Oh, goes to that grab, really bad option. Now he's going to go high. Yeah, mixing it up. This is a re-grab. Yeah. That was a really... I'm, I'm really not sure why Kira Flax decided to go for that.